So if you find the lima is stretched after grafting it to the LED, there are various ways to lengthen the lima. The first is by dividing the veins accompanying the internal mammary artery, then the dividing the fascia posteriorly and even disconnecting the left internal mammary vein where it joins the innominate vein. And even if that is not sufficient or if you feel that the mammary is stretched after grafting to the LED and if you find the lung is pushing the internal mammary artery, especially when the heart is more medially placed, this usually happens. One can fix the lung to the lateral chest wall. So we usually do it more frequently. As you can see here, the IMA is coursing over the uh, left apical lobe, though there is another inch of a mammary to be harvested, which was left. I'm trying to harvest extra inch of the internal mammary artery that is yet to be harvested behind that spur. And um, after doing that, we still find that the lima is coursing over the left upper lobe. And uh, now the, the patient is under anesthesia and once he is extubated, the lima has to sit free when the patient is coughing or taking a deep breath. So there should be a free length of lima between the medial aspect of the left upper lobe and the pericardial surface. So as you can see, once I have dissected that part of the memory one extra inch, I am taking a bite in the upper lobe of the left lung. It's a big needle for rolling and fixing it to the lateral chest wall. So it's a double arm needle and again I'm taking a deep bite and then I'll fix it to the lateral chest wall. And then I will tie it. So by doing so, this left upper lobe of the lung will stay away from that lima. Even when the patient coughs, the problem with this technique is that one in hundred, the, the bites in the lung may tear and uh, may lead to massive surgical emphysema, which has happened once. But having said that, more often than not, this will be useful. If the lung happens to push the mammary or stretch the mammary intraoperatively, especially with a peep of four or five, which is quite uh, physiological. So you can fix the lung at two places, take deep bites within the lung parenchyma and fix it to the chest wall. And by doing so, you will see that the lima will be lying loose on the medial surface of the left upper lobe across the pericardial cavity and onto its way to the LED. So there's uh, some enough length there. And this one has to assess, especially when you take the packs off the posterior LV wall and allow the LV to, to go back to its normal anatomical position and with the normal ventilation, with normal tidal volume, then you will see if the mammary is lying loose and if it is nice, then one can leave it at this stage. And if you still have some amount of doubt and if you think that the mammary has to have some more room or length, then one can divide the pericardium. So as you can see, once that is done, the lima passes clearly onto the LED without any stretch and the left lung is fixed. The commonest way is to divide the veins accompanying the IMA. We do it before grafting and only in some cases we do it after grafting. So the vein that is accompanying the IMA can be divided right from the distal end to the top end along with the dividing the fascia posteriorly. This will definitely add to the lengthening of the mammary. We do it quite commonly. So doing it before you graft would be more useful than doing it after grafting. Now as you can see the heart is lifted with the pack and once I take this pack off then the actual situation is revealed. Now the lung is also down. Then once you leave the heart to its normal anatomical position, you will see the lung is still trying to push the mammary a bit there by stretching it. So I will again fix this lung. So this is another case. There is still some uh, 
uh, one inch of memory artery that can be harvested at the top and pass it through the lung and then the lateral chest wall. The video is a bit out of focus, sorry. And then one can tie it. So this way the, the left upper lobe is pushed away from the mammary artery onto the chest wall. I am taking big bites as you can see. So it's very unlikely for this suture to tear or the, for the parenchyma to tear. And if that happens, there will be massive surgical emphysema which may take time or which will rather take time to heal. So one of the problems with this technique is the surgical emphysema which is iatrogenic. So as you can see, the lima is lying loose. So this would be useful. Thanks for watching.